Good morning. Happy Thursday. We're watching dinosaurs. Um, another 5.30 wake up call. And I'm trying n not to kind of complain about it too much because it wasn't that long ago that Ruben quite regularly got up at quarter past four. So 5.30 is a massive improvement on that. But it's And it's my own fault I'm this tired because, you know, from about quarter to ten, I'm like, I'm going to bed in a minute. I'm going to bed in a minute. And then it was almost 20 past 11 before I got to bed. And then I stared at my phone to almost midnight. So it's like, I'm my own worst enemy. I, I did this. I am, you know, I am the reason I'm this tired. But anyway, good morning. Happy Thursday. There is no toddler club. No toddler club. Um, it isn't actually running this week. They've, um, yeah. We have a play date booked at our friend's house. Um, I have already showered. John has left for work. I need to dry my hair. It's like, ugh. I had all these layers put in it at the beginning of the summer and I was like, oh, I like the layers. And now it's kind of had a month's growth and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like the layers. <laughs> um, hmm, is what it is. Um, but yeah, John's left for work. Lots of rain today. Absolutely pouring down. Um, but yeah, it's time for more coffee for Mama and breakfast for Mr. Reuben. Oh, thank you. Dressed, kind of look put together. 31st of August, long sleeve jumper on, like, it's a Jules jumper, but it's not a thick one. Jeans, socks, Reuben's got a long sleeve top and dungarees on, he looks really cute. It's like, there's literally been no summer this year. We had that glorious few weeks in May. And it's just pouring with rain and miserable. <sighs> right, let's go tire out some kids. <laughs> And we are home. A uh, five hour play date, but the kids were playing beautifully with each other. Um, don't think I took any footage. I may have, I can't remember. Um, oh, Gilly wants to come in. You can see the mess behind me. But the big news from this, um, Ruben did his first ever wee. Oh, things went off. No, he's come back. Ruben did his first ever wee on a proper toilet um he had a pull up on and matthew is a year older than reuben he so reuben turned three you're all right you got it okay reuben turned three on holiday monday and matthew turns four next weekend so there's almost a year between them um, so obviously Matthew, he still has like urgent moments, but he doesn't wear nappies at all. He wears pants all the time. He's a big boy. He can go to the toilet by himself. Ruben did a lot of following poor Matthew into the toilet to see. And um, yeah, he then asked to go for a wee wee. And I was like, oh, okay. And they've got a potty at their house because Millicent is six months so it's like Matthew's a year older than Reuben Millicent's six months older than Reuben so they have a potty because you know they, they're still at that point um so I said okay we'll get the potty no 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 big boy toilet so I put him on there not thinking he was going to do anything I did a wee wee which to anyone who doesn't have kids is kind of like are you really vlogging this but yeah and I nearly cried because it's like we have been doing very gentle potty training um because i just don't want to i don't want him to ever feel uncomfortable and i don't want to force it because i've read too much stuff online about regression and children getting scared of the toilet and children getting scared of the potty and all of this and as you might guess i'm quite gentle with every other aspect of parenting <laughs> um wish i was this gentle to myself but yeah so kind of like letting reuben take the lead and you know he quite regularly has a wee on the potty before bed but yeah asked to go held it in 
and did it in our big boy toilet. I'm like, or, like, or a normal adult toilet to you and I. Um, but yeah, the kids had a lovely time. Scarlett put on a really lovely spread for them. Her house is adorable. She's got one of these very beautiful cottages. You know, beams and things. It's stunning. Um, and it's like her house is kind of full, filled with... Emma Bridgewater and Kath Kidson and, and vintage like and like the Joe Browns, like the cups of the posh Joe Brown ones. And it's just all lovely and vintagey and, and very shabby chic. I love it. And she's already put all her autumn bits and bobs out. Um, and it just made it even more cute and homely and lovely. Uh, I was relatively sure I was going to put our pumpkins out tomorrow. No, I really want to put the pumpkins out tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to make one of my coffees. Only downside to going to people's, other people's houses, you've got to drink their coffee when I prefer my own. Um, so I'm going to make myself a coffee. I'm going to get my hair out of my face. I might even put some joggy bottoms on. And then probably end up watching dinosaurs for a bit. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So, um, it's about five to five. Afternoon has disappeared. Uh, got changed to some comfies. The it looks really bright, but it's actually pouring down with rain out there. Um, we have pretty much had Andy doing di some CBBS BB blah, blah, some CBBS presenter doing dinosaurs. Pretty much since we've been home, it's the summer holidays. We can watch TV. Do you know what I mean? We'll be a uh, Monday. We'll be at school. Working hard or preschool. Um, but yeah, about time to start doing his tea. I have been in between playing Lego and talking about dinosaurs and getting out all of the dinosaur toys because, you know, dinosaurs are life right now. Um, I have been doing a lot of s scrolling and hearting on Etsy at autumnal decor. I haven't bought anything because... It's only the 31st of August. It's a long time until normal people put their pumpkins out. But I'm like, oh, I want to buy some pumpkins. <sighs> We're going on holiday in a couple of weeks. So I've got other things I should be trying to purchase. Um, like some swimming costumes. And some dresses for the evenings and things. But no, I'm sat here looking at pumpkins and um, ornamental ghosts. I have an issue. My name's Katie. I'm addicted to seasonal. No, <laughs> my name's Katie, and I'm addicted to unnecessary seasonal decor. It's a problem. All right, I'm gonna make Ruben some tea. Hello. I can't remember the last time I spoke to a camera, but Ruben had his tea. Ruben had a bath. Ruben is in bed. This is the latest. He's gone to bed in about a week, so hopefully he'll stay in bed past half past five tomorrow. It wasn't late late, he just was having quite a lot of fun in the bath, so we didn't rush him. But yeah, tears in the oven for me and John. Um, I think the plan of attack tonight, book a hotel. And we need to start picking like holiday bits that you get from Amazon, like mosquito stuff and swim nappy. And it's tea time, and tonight we've got wild garlic and something else. Chicken kievs from Tesco's, crispy potato, and monstu.